Hey everybody, it's good to be with you again on this Tuesday for our morning prayer and devotion. Thank you for being a part of this ministry with me today. We do have many, many needs to take to the Lord in prayer today. I encourage you to post your new needs. Uh, if there's something that's not on our list today, make sure you share that with our team by commenting on this uh, video, and we'll be glad to pray with you for your need. If you have a victory report, something you want to give the Lord thanks for and answered prayer, uh, make sure you share that with us as well. Uh, this morning we want to uh, continue to pray for revival in our communities and for the safe return of prodigals. Uh, we want to pray for uh, our Mingo RCF residents, especially the five new residents that just transferred their in the past week, uh, pray for Mingo Job Corps, uh, the Bolin family, Jessica, Virginia, um, Pam, Mark, Caitlin, uh, Cheryl's family and friends. We need to pray for Debbie Biddick's family, the Sappingtons, Mike and Judy's family, uh, Sister Pam Pulliam's family, the Clark family, uh, Marcia and Britt's family, um, Marcia's friend Linda, who's been battling depression. Let's pray for those who are battling addiction. Uh, also lift up Destiny as she is needing to grow in her relationship with God. Jennifer and Brenda's family, J.R. Johnson, Vila Ziegler's granddaughter, Judy Johnson's grandson, Lexi, Jean, Regina Marlin's family, uh, Jessica O'Hara and her family, uh, especially the situation ongoing with Stephen. Let's pray for God's will to be done there. And also for Jenny Perkins' sister Lisa, who, who needs mental, emotional, and spiritual healing. Uh, pray for David to return to the Lord, as this is a need that's been on uh, Carmen's heart of recent. Uh, let's pray for our fellow believers in uh, the following nations who are being persecuted currently uh, in Papua New Guinea, uh, Pakistan, India, and Myanmar. Much persecution going on. Uh, with churches being burned, uh, church members uh, that have been killed, uh, reported in Papua New Guinea. And we need to pray for protection, provision, and for our people to be able to uh, rebuild the churches and their homes. Uh, let's pray for our global missionaries today. We have missionaries all over the world. Uh, I believe in our own organization uh, we have missionaries everywhere except about 20 recognized areas um, throughout the world. I think right now we have missionaries in 210 uh, nations and territories. And let's lift them up to the Lord today, believing for great results in these mission fields. The Tamias and Pattersons are constantly in harm's way, and we trust in God's protection for them in Ukraine. Let's pray for the Haitian family in Germany, ministering to military families there, and also pray for our North American missionaries, our church planters right here in North America uh, who have quite a task um, to start new churches uh, here, and most time without much uh, financial support, uh, which our missionaries do, uh, do have, our global missionaries are North American missionaries, with the exception of the designated Metro missionaries, do not have a whole lot of, of uh, financial support. So let's pray for them today that God would continue to bless. Many of them are bivocational, and uh, I certainly can identify with that, uh, with the experience of the North American missionaries. So my heart is burdened for them uh, today. Let's believe for great results in every locale today as we spread the gospel together. Uh, lift up our military personnel and their families. Uh, pray for Grace and Johnny, who are new to military life. Uh, Grace is seeking a job in Texas, there where her husband is currently stationed. And let's believe for uh, her to find the right employment. Uh, unspoken needs today that we need to be praying about uh, are for Lana Lane, Ernie, Jessica, Tracy, the Pulliam family, Hannah, Rose Brown's daughters and grandchildren, and Cheryl Lachance. Let's continue praying for those in nursing homes today uh, who need a compassionate and competent care. 
and encouragement of one of those residents, uh, a man that we baptized here a few years ago. Um, he lives there in a nursing home, but he has been able to go out every day and work a steady job. And he just learned that he has to have a six to seven hour back surgery. And thereafter, he will not be able to continue working. So this weighs heavily upon him as he has always cherished that independence. So let's pray for Paul Swinney today, uh, that God would strengthen him and encourage him today, and also that the surgery would go well for him. Uh, many health needs we're praying for today, uh, for Devin Huff, Michelle Clark, Mara Sullivan, who has lupus and autoimmune cerebritis, Doug Seabaugh, George Tibbs, Carrie Gregson, Chris Gregson, Sister Judy Williams' brother, Cheryl LaChance, Janet, Jessica O'Hara, Shirley Perkins, Sheila Sadler, Cheryl Ogden, Robin Tibbs, Marshall Link, Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter, uh, Melana Cummins' friend uh, who was stabbed more than 50 times with very severe injuries. Uh, Eddie Potts has an upcoming uh, appointment with a plastic surgeon for a consultation and they'll be scheduling surgery, we believe, for his open hip wound uh, soon after that. Uh, we need to pray for continued recovery for Jasmine. Uh, she is still having a lot of issues. We are thankful that she has finally been able to return home from uh, the hospital. Seth uh, needs our continued prayers for his recovery. Sarah Seaball as well. Uh, many with um, stroke. Uh, who are recovering from those situations. These include Deidre Searfoss, Dwayne, Sheila Sappington, Joey, Tina's mother, Kelly, Billy Huey, Buddy Randolph, Wayne Owens, and Anthony Sifford. Keep praying for Pastor Chris Dew, recovering from Guillain-Barre syndrome, and Pastor David Kent, who has partial paralysis after he fell on icy pavement last uh, December. Lift up the children today. Uh, who are needing a touch from the Lord, Bailey May with hearing loss, Elise uh, with seizures of unknown cause, Tammy Lawson's granddaughter, Emily, has epilepsy, Darla's granddaughter has seizures, uh, Gus's grandson and Abby suffer from developmental delay, Brantley and Elsie have heart issues, Tano uh, suffers from spina bifida, let's keep praying for Arlo's recovery after multiple surgeries, Abel, has PKU and autism. Abram has GNAL1 disorder. Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker have childhood cancer. And baby G has uh, many, many uh, health concerns. Let's pray for Oscar and Dave. They're dealing with kidney problems. Uh, those with stomach issues, including Michael Parrott with Crohn's disease, Ginger Williams with diverticulitis and hernia, uh, Star, Chloe, and uh, Amber K, all with gastroparesis uh, problems. And we're praying for Chris's neighbor, Natalie, Regina Marlin's granddaughter, Aubrey, and Heather Spence, who have chronic stomach problems as well. Let's pray for Sherry, who's needing a liver transplant, Chase in stage four liver failure, Johnny Nelson's cousin with cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, we need to lift up Venus, who has reoccurring severe headaches, and also Beth, Marsha, Milena, and Marsha's co-worker son, all with migraine headaches. Uh, we're believing for healing of diabetes for Cheryl LaChance, Jimmy Warren, Brother Pulliam, Titus Dornbach, Christian Carr, Cindy and Lloyd Page, Tim Workman, Anthony Williams, Steve Cummins, Michael Williams, Emily Stanley, Rose Brown, Evie, Becca Cheney, J.R. Johnson, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, myself, Lola Dickinson, Kristen's cousin Grady, and Holly. Uh, pray for Vivian, Russ, Beulah, uh, my dad, Ron Bryant, uh, Kristen's friend Matt, and Tim Workman. Also Joey Etheridge, all of these uh, who have Parkinson's disease. We're believing for healing of arthritis for June Coffer, Rose Brown, her sister Judy Williams' mom. Uh, mobility issues. Uh, Sammy, Sheila, Chris, and Renee needing prayers in that regard. Uh, pray for Judy Cookson, Elaine Wilfong, Diane, and Ann, all uh, going through rehab and needing pain relief. 
We're praying for those with back problems. Uh, these include Johnny and Terry Nelson, Michael Parrott, Lori Gravel, Melana Cummins, Pam Poyman's daughter, daughter Jenny, Brianna Williams, Cindy Page, Bob O, Britt Moore, Rebecca Williams, Carolyn Rogers, Becky Wilson, and Lois Link, who has uh, scoliosis and has been waiting for surgery for more than three months. And I would say, safe to say, now we could update that and say that this has been uh, probably about four months. Uh, Marsha's neighbor Carol, Regina Marlin, Bob Perkins, all needing healing of shingles. Let's pray for those with lung problems, uh, including Dee's mother, Carolyn, Kareem Green, Gary Lee, Rebecca Rush, Gary Shepard, Kendra Ortiz, Robbie Northrup, these all with chronic conditions. We need to pray for those who are currently uh, battling COVID and other respiratory illnesses and viral illnesses um, right now. Brenda Ward, Dole Mitchell, Holly, Amy Dees, Cheryl Lachance, Brother Mark Morris, Kelly B., Jenny Parrott's nephew Blaine, Kenny Prenzel, Mike Sappington, Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, David Duggar, Bud Taylor, Don and Betty Cossey, Jimmy Warren, Michelle Strain's mother, all have heart issues. Let's pray for Ben Ramey's stepdad, Tom, who needs healing of memory deterioration. Also pray for Vivian, Johnny's mom, Kristen's friend's dad, and Melania Cummins' mom, all needing um, the Lord to touch them as they are currently battling dementia. Uh, pray for Tracy, uh, who has MS, and also dealing with a daily commute of an hour each way that takes a toll on her health. Um, she needs her home to sell so that she can be closer to her job. Um, and also with LMS, Marty DeLott, Sarah Stroop, and Riley Marks, they need our constant prayers as well. Darla and Virginia continue with precautionary treatments um, after having cancer surgery. Those who are currently battling active cancer include Gladys Sims, uh, Jordan, who's going through chemo, Jamie Joe's grandfather, Donna Hayes, Ari Bowers, Kristen's friend Betty, Daniel Dickinson, Julia Nelson, Marsha Moore's friend, grand, friend's grandparent, Michelle Strange's sister Cindy, Scott Lucia, Alice Elizabeth, Claire, Dwayne Lewis, Sherry, who also has lupus, Dennis Phelps, Heather, Diane, Cheryl, Sherry Wilson, and Amy Dees, who is battling thyroid cancer. Uh, we're praying for those who are recovering from recent surgery. These include Angela, Julia, Debbie, uh, Shirley Garner, Karen, Paula, Cassandra Puckett, Rose Brown, Sherry Wilson, and Marsha's friend's husband, who just had quadruple bypass surgery. All of these we're going to lift up to the Lord today in prayer. And um, we do see a report here from Kristen this morning that her dad is doing much better with um, having less back pain. So thank the Lord. Um, he actually is able to travel again. So that's a good report this morning that we can rejoice in uh, with her. Uh, good morning to you, Kristen. Good to have you on our prayer team today as always. Uh, good to see Carmen this morning. Now Carmen's reporting that Grace has obtained a new job, starts on Thursday, and has a grateful heart for that. So Thank the Lord for that answer to prayer. Good morning, Marcia. Um, we thank God for you today. And uh, also excited here, uh, if I can see this correctly. Yes, Sister Judy uh, got the results back from her colonoscopy. No cancer. So praise the Lord for that. Uh, we give God thanks for his hand upon each of our team members today. Uh, so good morning to you, Sister Judy, Sister Pam. Uh, God bless you today. Uh, ben Ramey, Sherman Williams with us this morning, and others who are continuing to join us, uh, signing on as we go along here today. You are such a vital part of this prayer team, and I personally give thanks to God for each of you. Let's look at Psalm 75 this morning. That's where we're taking our devotion. I'm reading from the New King James Version. Interesting uh, that the caption above this psalm is the psalm of Asaph, a song, but I noticed that he said to the chief musician here to set this song to, in quotations, do not destroy. 
thought that was interesting, especially in the context of the, um, the psalm here, the content of it. So let's read it together. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks for your wondrous works declare that your name is near. When I choose the proper time, I will judge uprightly. This is the Lord speaking here. I will judge uprightly. The earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved. I set up its pillars firmly. Selah. I said to the boastful, do not deal boastfully. And to the wicked, do not lift up the horn. Do not lift up your horn on high. Do not speak with a stiff neck. For exaltation comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is fully mixed, and he pours it out. Surely its dregs shall all the wicked of the earth drain and drink down. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked I will also cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. We see in this passage that God is the judge. It does not say he is a judge, but he is the judge. This is at least in the context of the destiny of each and every individual, uh, God alone is the judge. We need to remember that. Um, now, the Bible does tell us to judge with righteous judgment, and I believe that uh, that does not apply to our passing judgment on the individual, but, but that we would uh, judge situations and really for our own lives to make sure that uh, we are staying on the straight and narrow and doing the will of God and not involving ourselves in things that we should not be involved in. And so we can judge situations by the help of God, but God reserves for himself alone uh, the place of judge uh, of a person's eternal destiny and of their walk with God. Uh, we need to worry about our own relationship with the Lord and pray for those that we have concern about. Um, but I thought about this role of judge and also noticing there the caption above the psalm. He told the, the musician, set this to uh, do not destroy. That's the mood I want for this song. We certainly can destroy others if we set ourselves up as the judge because the truth is that's a very difficult job. We should be thankful that God chose to reserve this to himself and not put the weight of that upon us. If you think about in society, uh, the role of judge, whether it be something as, as um, uh, I guess, unserious or unconsequential, inconsequential as uh, being a referee at a high school sporting event. It may seem like it has great consequence in the moment, but really in the grand scheme of life, uh, the referee is not going to affect anybody's uh, destiny. But he has that whistle. And as someone who played high school basketball for a couple of years, um, man, there was times the referees just, we felt like they just got it wrong. And they really messed up um, the game for us. And we lost the game because of the referee. And everyone feels that way. They feel like at times that those who are, who are our judges or referees, umpires, that they're not getting it right. That's because they're human, and they cannot uh, see everything as God does. But when it comes to eternity, I'm thankful that God alone is the one who is uh, watching out uh, for each of us and determining uh, what the end is going to be. This psalm describes him as the ultimate judge, judge holy, fair, equitable in all things. Things, the only one who could right all of the wrongs, the only one we can trust to always do the right thing because he sees all sides of everything. As the perfect judge, we can trust him in all things, even when we are disappointed. One day, God will set all things right. Verse 10 shows a graphic picture of God stopping the wicked in their tracks and lifting up the righteous. When we feel hurt, betrayed, or disappointed, our response must be to run to the Lord and to rely on his wisdom, upon his mercy, and upon his hope. And we can listen to his voice 
to know what steps to take or not to take because he is not a man and he is not one that he could lie or that he could get it wrong. He is the perfect judge, the ultimate in fairness. And so today, that's why we place our trust in him. Aren't you thankful that God is, is the judge? I'm glad that Marty's not the judge today. I'm glad that God is on his throne today. And I'm glad that when others uh, have had written me off, uh, that the righteous judge said, no, I'm going to grant mercy and grace to him and give him yet another chance. Aren't you thankful for the grace and mercy of God today? Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Let's pray together. We know that God's going to move in these needs. We need not concern ourselves with who on our list may be worthy or may deserve or not deserve uh, healing or deliverance. Or It has nothing to do with that. Today we appeal uh, to God alone who will reach down and sort all these things out. And today we're in a day of grace and mercy. And let's trust today uh, in that mercy of God that endures, that he will move in each of these needs. Lord Jesus, we come to you right now. We thank you for being the merciful judge. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for your righteousness. We thank you, God, for your holiness, that you're set apart from us and that the flaws that we have, you do not possess. They do not affect your character. You're perfect in all of your ways. And we glorify you as God alone. There's none beside you. There's none before you. There's none that come after you. There's not other justices sitting next to you to cast a vote in a different direction. You are God and judge all by yourself. And for this, we give you thanks today. Our hope, Jesus, is in you. Move in these needs today. You've heard every family situation that we have mentioned today, every spiritual need, every uh, prodigal, every community God that's in need of revival, every uh, uh, ancillary ministry of the church God that's going on. You see it all today, and you're the one that uh, brings the increase. We can't do it on our own. We plant, we water, but... We depend upon your miraculous power to cause the seed to grow. And we ask for that today. You're the God that gives victory over depression, over mental illness, over every stressor and strain of life. And we depend upon you today for each of these family members and friends who are in need. We pray for our fellow believers in Papua New Guinea, in Pakistan, in India, in Myanmar, where they're suffering great persecution currently. We pray, God, for your protection, Lord, that as the enemy has come in like a flood, we believe, Lord, for you to raise a standard as your word has declared. Raise a standard against the enemy today. In the name of Jesus, grant deliverance for your people, for our missionaries in foreign lands today and other places around the globe. Let there be continued victory spiritually Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, move for our North American missionaries as well. Let new churches, new works, uh, thriving works be planted in every community, we pray. Hallelujah. Bless our metro missionaries, our missionaries to the rural areas as well. Hallelujah. Bless our missionaries here in the state of Missouri. Oh, God, we believe you, Lord, for 300 works uh, by 2030. In the name of Jesus, we believe for that. We pray, God, for our military personnel and their families. We lift up especially Grace and Johnny. We thank you for this praise report on Grace's behalf that she's getting ready to start this new job. Moving the unspoken needs today to uh, those in nursing homes, Lord, they need encouragement and strength and compassionate and competent care. Hallelujah. Every health need that we've mentioned today. Lord, regardless of what the situation is, we know that you are well able and you've heard the names and we called out each and every one of these needs. And Lord, those that are facing upcoming surgery, those that are recovering from surgery, uh, Melena's friend who endured this terrible attack uh, and now this family situation uh, that has arisen out of this terrible event. God, we pray, Lord, that you would move in that family. Hallelujah. We pray for continued recovery for those who have suffered stroke, those who have suffered paralysis and 
loss of function in other areas. We pray, God, that you would touch them in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for uh, your hand upon them to bring to completion the work that you've begun in them. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. I pray you give me direction today, God, uh, in spiritual matters. Give me discernment today. Hallelujah. Help me to know, God, how to minister throughout this week. In Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, for every child on this list today that they would receive their miracle touch. With your stripes, we are healed in the name of Jesus. Those with kidney issues and stomach problems, liver issues and headaches, whether migraine or tension or other types of headaches today, God, we come against these in the name of Jesus and believe for perfect health. We pray, God, for healing for each of these who are suffering with diabetes and Parkinson's disease, those with arthritis and mobility issues and going through physical therapy, those who need relief of pain, those suffering from back problems today, those dealing with shingles and the intense pain that is associated with that. We come on behalf of those with COVID and other respiratory illnesses, RSV, those who are beginning to deal with the, the flu season. We pray, God, for healing and strength. Those with chronic respiratory conditions, we believe for complete healing today. For those with heart problems, we ask you, God, to touch them today. Hallelujah. Those with dementia and memory problems, we believe for healing. For those with MS, God, move on their behalf. We pray for Tracy's home to sell so she can have a shorter commute. Hallelujah. Touch and strengthen her body in the meantime, Lord. We trust you as our healer. Hallelujah. Those who are battling cancer need your help today. Lord, it's a daily struggle, a daily battle. And those of us who have not dealt with that, we can't even begin to imagine the load that's upon the family, the caregivers, and upon the person themselves who's battling that disease in their body. We believe for deliverance from every affliction in the name of Jesus. Those going through chemo, those going through precautionary treatments, hallelujah, be with them today. Those recovering from recent surgeries, let your hand be upon them today that they would recover quickly and completely in Jesus' name. We pray for Paul Swinney today, Lord. You see how heavy his heart is with having to have this back surgery that will keep him from continuing to work. We pray, Lord, your comfort and peace for him, that you would guide the surgeon's hand today. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for these praise reports today. We give you the praise and the glory for your healing power, for your intervention in all of our situations today. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for Judy's good report today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way. Move in Johnny's family today, God. You see the need. You know exactly what he's dealing with. We thank you, God, for helping him today, helping his family. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, prayer team. Thank you for being a part of this vital uh, ministry. Uh, we'll pray again tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. And those of you that pray with us each and every day know that this is a uh, five-day-a-week thing that we do together. And we encourage others who may be watching today to join with us at any time that you can. And if this time of the day does not work for you, you can go back and watch the video later. And I can assure you that prayer works any time that you do it. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to have a wonderful day in the Lord. And uh, be looking for opportunities to serve and to bless the kingdom of God uh, today. God bless you in Jesus' name.